CNN Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN, and we're going to go across the pond to the United Kingdom today, featuring a chart by Alan Smith, a very, very dear friend of ours. And you'll notice here he's looking at this weekly chart of the Dow Jones, and as you can see, it is making an ABCD pattern up here near the 1.618 expansion. Now, this is the weekly, but what we should do is uh, expand his work just a little bit, and we'll go back, and we're going to look at it on the daily chart, so you'll be able to see it more clearly and see all the swings that have happened here recently, including the long-term ones. Now, what I'd like for you to notice here, that the 1.618 expansion here, you notice when he did this yesterday, it was 43,000. Um, uh, 212, uh, uh, 43,012, which was the high of the day of the Dow Jones index itself. DJ, uh, this US 30 is the Dow Jones index. It's not the futures, it's the Dow Jones index. It's traded in Europe, you know, and I forget what they call that. Uh, shucks, I'll remember in a minute. But anyway, it's completed. You can see the large ABCD pattern, the smaller ABCD patterns, and it went to, uh, ex well, within 85 points of the exact number of what uh, it was looking for. I believe it only missed it by just a hair's breadth. Now the news came out, of course, with United Healthcare, and that um, made the market uh, sell off quite a bit. This also fit along with what we were talking about in the newsletter uh, this week in the last few days. This is the long-term picture going back to 2000, and well, actually to uh, 18, 1881, 1991. There's the crash right there of 87, right, if you can believe that. And then we've made, uh, what I believe is we've completed these ABCD patterns. And you see the zone up here measured to 43,000 also. And that has also been completed. Now, whether this is a completed pattern or not, I'm not sure. Nobody else is either. But we're going to be watching it very closely for sure. Now, our guest today with the break, with any luck, will be Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. Uh, we're still having some phone problems at the offices of TFNN due to that horrible storm. And believe me, horrible is an understatement. Uh, pictures that they show are just, uh, they're really very, very scary. So we're going to be doing that today. So stay with us and we'll be right back. 